All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So today is Wednesday, and that means that we are using the DDD. And hopefully I played this deck correctly, because you guys know that the majority of the time I, I end up messing it up. So, uh, this hand's not terrible. I, 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 I have a general idea of what I want to do with it, but yeah, we'll go ahead and summon Kepler. Kepler, go ahead and add me a Covenant card, of course. Uh, get me my Searcher card. So, uh, you're probably wondering what's up with the title. Yeah, the deed is done, people. So, uh, of course, despite me being a YouTuber and producing all this Yu-Gi-Oh! content for you guys, uh, I'm just kind of sick and tired of playing Yu-Gi-Oh! in real life, dishing out all that money to try and uh, uh, compete. It's, just, it's really just not worth the effort. So, uh, I decided to go ahead and just end it when it comes to real life. I mean, of course, I have my channel. If I didn't have my channel, I probably would just quit Yu-Gi-Oh! as a whole. But, uh, you know... Because I still have my channel, uh, we're gonna continue. At least I'm gonna be continuing to at least provide uh, Yu-Gi-Oh content for you. Uh, now, uh, I, I hate something. I hate keeping Kepler in attack mode. That'd be no, so nice if Kepler is a tuner, but I guess he already does too much. That'd be so nice because then you could just go right into sick free off of this play. That'd be just that'd be fantastic. But instead, I'm just gonna keep this zero attack monster here. Yeah. Hey, he's great. He's a normal summon. He's a searcher. That's great. But you're gonna be taking a lot of damage. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> mm, looks like I'm going to be going against Denklaw that deck. Well, <laughs> it's actually, if it's actually Denklaw that deck, that's actually kind of funny because uh, my friends who actually live together, one of them, yep, yep, one of them plays DDD and the other one plays Denklaw that deck. So, yep. <laughs> that's just ironic to say the least. That is ironic. You really can't get over my, uh, my king though, so are you gonna exceed these two into something or are you just gonna keep it there and then try to summon Dark Love despite that? Let's say only set one. Set one, just set one. Just set one. Alright. Sure. Kill my Kepler, that's fine. So uh after a cool minute of not doing uh going down to locals, I think like I said, the last time I went down to locals was uh wow, he's just gonna play it now. Just gonna play it now. So I was thinking that maybe he said it and he was just gonna pass, but nope, he's just gonna play it now. Yeah, he's gonna play it now. So Unki? I mean Unki could crash. Yeah, Unki. I believe Unki has to be on the field to resolve its effect. Start destroying the punch about that on center grave card. Can I add one trench quit? Yeah, I think he has to be on the field to resolve. Oh, he could just attack me directly. This card can attack your opponent directly, but when it does, using the effect of battle damage to your opponent, it's halved. Alright, so you're just going to do half the damage that you would directly to me. That's what you want to do. <laughs> That's what you want to do, sir. I thought maybe you were thinking about crouching and getting another mass change and all that play, but if all you want to do is attack me directly, like, meh. And then another mass change. Sure. <laughs> just mass changing it up. Alright, and there's Dark Law. <laughs> Alright, you done? Alright, well, uh, obviously this is something to protect Darkwall, so during your face, go ahead and MST that. Ah, see, I don't notice so something along those lines. Ah, give me the Mac points. <laughs> Alright, so you can go ahead and fuse by banishing all that, but I really don't want to do that. Nope, 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 don't want to do that. Uh, what I want to do is go ahead and activate my Dark Contract and, of course, search for my Lamia. And we're actually going to go ahead and go into Siegfried because we rarely get to go into Siegfried. <laughs> ah, I forgot about Dark Wall. That's, that's fine. That's fine. Totally forgot about Dark Wall. <laughs> Alright, so this card is in your hand or graveyard. You can send one dude near Dark Contract card. Blah, 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 blah. Let's just summon it. Alright. I could special summon it, but I think I'll just go ahead and normal summon it. You can send one D. Oh, because I can't send shit to the graveyard. That's right. Oh, I can't. My shit's all gonna get banished. I might as well go ahead and kill Darkwall now. I was thinking like, oh no, I'll handle Darkwall later. Just kill Darkwall now. Like that was dumb. That was dumb. I was like, why can't I special summon her? Like, yeah, I can't special summon her because shit can go. I literally lost my notice because I was being dumb. Nah, whatever. I'm still okay. Still perfectly fine. So we'll go ahead and normal summon you. Go ahead and go into the Siegfried. The only thing I'm worried about is because I had to attack first that I can't really handle this, but I guess I can go ahead and summon and banish this. I think that'd be pretty good to go ahead and banish the, uh, the Gumper, because I don't want him to go and talk 101 or cast uh, one of those cards. So I can, what, tribute a card? I can tribute a DDD? 
you contribute one other DD monster than target one monster poke control to banish it. So I can actually go ahead and do slime. Slime will summon me Ragnarok. And Ragnarok will summon me Oracle. And then I can use Siegfried. I mean, not Siegfried, I can use Ragnarok. And what was it? Tribute? Should be one duty, banish one monster your pump controls. Yeah. Go ahead and do that. And while it's nice to go ahead and have her, I think I'll go ahead and send her. Get that out of here. So you got you'll be drawing into three. So if I wanted to I can go into him, but there's really no point. As long as this is okay, I should be fine. I even you actually even if this goes, I'll still be fine because I have Necro Slime, so so good. So uh, like I said it's been a cool minute since I went down to the locals, uh, since the last Utah regionals which was like in like November of 2015. So it's, it's been, it's been a minute. <laughs> All right, summon, you're gonna go ahead and nice change second and I'll just be like, nah, you don't need it. You don't need it. You can just stick with Bubble Man. Stick with Bubble Man, you're not turning the acid. No, thank you. No, thank you. You're good, you don't need him. You don't need him, you don't need him. Definitely don't need him. <laughs> so I will be taking a thousand damage or I can just negate. Or I can summon. I should probably just try to dish out as much damage as I can get out right now this turn. Because I'm going to end up winning this duel anyway. Despite that. So I'll go ahead and summon Leonidas. Get that back. And now i got another beater on the field. Alright, so who else do I want as a beater? I can go ahead and use you. And I can actually fusion summon into you. I have one DDD, because you're a DDD, and one DD. So I can summon you, it's you, you, and you, and turn all you into attack mode and attack. That should be game. Should be game. I might have to do a little bit more, but that should be game. Should. Shall be game. <laughs> hmm. I can go into another, I can go into another Siegfried. Another, another Siegfried, but I'm not sure if that's really necessary. Sometimes when I play this deck, it's just like, hmm, what play shall I do? Yeah, I can use you. No. All right, he's just gonna scoop. All right, well, that's one W for the DDD. Woo! He got two mass change, mass change happy. You know, like change, 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 change. It's like, why, why? And then I saw him notice. I mean, all I had to do was just attack over your doctor. Like, you had like nothing to protect your doctor. I guess you were assuming. Oh, you were gonna kill me because I was gonna activate it. Wait, does uh, her effect activate to heal me, or is it just a continuous effect? Hmm, I'll look at it again. Uh, let's of course get another duel and bear back. Alright, another duel. Go ahead and call second, because I can get all that, all them plays in. I actually want to go ahead and look at her. Wow. And destruction, so he's going to take a hell of an egg. Uh... Uh, I guess I only need one Kepler, and... And of course I can go to the graveyard too. And I draw two. Some Night Howlings. Not bad. Because Night Howling can go ahead and send me back and get a search. Uh, you go ahead and look at her. Any effect that would inflict damage to the icon can do. doesn't activate. This is to continue the effect. So, she wouldn't have activated. So, this means that you couldn't negate my effect with some notes. And I just ran over your Dark Wall anyway. Like, I kind of messed up with the whole Dark Wall play like that. I should just killed you. But I was kind of trying to get everything in and be able to take everything out. But I couldn't do it because all that. So he went ahead and played Hand Destruction just so he can go ahead and do this play. wonder if he's going to drop that first turn Quasar. Can I even handle first turn Quasar? I don't, I'm not even sure if I can. Wow, Junk Warrior. You know, generally when you go into Sync 5 like that, you don't allow and just Junk Warrior end. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, Necro Slime is saying like, hey, you know, I can go off. I can go ahead and summon you uh, the power. Oh, no, he's just going to quit. Like, dude, you... you <laughs> That was your open play and you just quit? Like, wow, that's no fun. That's no fun. <sighs> They're back. Alright, another duel. Hopefully, better than the last. I don't understand. The Hand Destruction took the neg, of course, to set up his Synchro play, and then goes into Junk Warrior. It's like, well, what is he supposed to do? What is, what is that supposed to do? I'll go second. That's again, hand's still fine. You know, if you get some Swirl Slime, then you're okay. Kepler, all that. Pretty chill, pretty chill, not bad. Reasoning, always call eight. Always call eight. I don't care if you're playing. Yep, always call eight, people. Always call eight. Dark Destroyer is one of your biggest threats. Call eight. Call eight. 
But now since I know he's playing Cosmo, this is going to be a difficult duel. I mean, these, these they, they, they topped a couple of times. Wow, he's actually, he actually plays the sword. I, I, I never really felt a reason, a reason to. Never felt a reason to. Hmm. Hmm. Kind of debating on what I want to do right now. Uh, it depends on which pilots he has in his hand, right? It always depends on what pilots he has in his hand. Uh, I can go ahead and normal summon, then search for uh, my searcher. I search the covenant. So this is gonna be a difficult duel. It's gonna be a difficult duel. I'm gonna say you got Veil or something. I mean, you clearly have someone to hop out to because. I doubt, I doubt we have Veil. It's asking you, hey, you want to hop out the way? Go into a different, uh, you want to hop in one of your ships? So, obviously, there is a ship coming my way. <laughs> so, you want to go ahead and hop into that sub wider? No? Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and get my search on. Response. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually get me Lamia. Yeah, get me Lamia. Then I'm going to go ahead and fuse. That I really want to, because if he busts out like a Dark Destroyer, then I'm fucked, because this deck has a hard time getting over authority figures like that. Well, I won't be fucked, fucked, but I'll be fucked, because he has 3,000 booty. And if I can be able, if I can bust out my, uh, uh my Siegfried with him, because next turn, and depending on what he does, as long as he doesn't get rid of this, actually, you know, next turn, if he... Even if he gets rid of this or whatever, I can just go slime summon you back, you, because I'm about to summon Siegfried right now. Siegfried, summon back Siegfried, and then I could just go XC into him, and he can run over Dark Destroyer, but still, it's just... <sighs> it's not it's not one of the easiest duels, uh, I must say. I must say, it's not one of the easiest duels, so... I'm going to go ahead and activate her. Oh, it has to be... Oh, because you can't go to the graveyard. You, period, cannot go to the graveyard. So, ooh, shouldn't have done that. I kind of want to keep all of this, actually. I'm about to use you. I thought I was going to send Kepler, but you can't be sent to the graveyard, so oops. I guess I'll send you, because even if I... Yeah, so I guess I'll send you, because even if I can't search you, I can, I can only... Even if this gets destroyed, I can still summon you back with uh, Night Howling, so we're still good. We're still okay. I kind of messed up, but we're still okay. So, I'm going to sick read. So I'm feeling I'm gonna get fucked up, but we'll see. So I can make two attacks, blah 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 blah, all that good, that jazz. I'll cut my attack, and then you just be like, "No, I'm gonna go ahead and hop out the way because I'm fucking Cosmos." And I'm like, "All right, great." So does he have another Dark Destroyer? That one was reasoning. So we'll see how that one. It's a two in his hand. Slip Rider would be good. Pop that. Forerunner would be fine. But Cosmos just floats so hard. We talked about this in Yu-Gi-Oh! previously, but the floatiness is just too damn strong. Did it just say on the field? Yes, yeah, it says on the field. No, not really. I wish I could do something with this freaking Kepler, but once again, he's kind of stuck on the field and be taking a crap ton of damage. Ah, no, I'm okay for right now. So this matchup is not good. This matchup is not good at all. Terrible matchup. I'm, I, sometimes I wonder how someone can top with DDDs with Cosmos just being so damn good in comparison. How is that possible? Wow, he's running multiple good witches. You know, I can't really say anything because he's also running the lightsaber, so. Really can't say anything. I'll go ahead and use my fight. Since I'm going down, I might as well go ahead and negate my uh, dark contract so I take less damage because. Taking less damage against Cosmos is always good. <laughs> always good. I still don't like the lightsaber. I'm gonna be taking a nice chunk of damage right now. Especially when you equip it to Good Witch, like, okay, I guess. Nope. Is that getting that back? Nope, I'm taking a nice chunk of damage. Say, do you got the Dark Destroyer in your hand? Say, I'm not gonna really lose to even a bad Cosmo. No, I'm gonna negate it, so I'm not taking a thousand, which is great. And then you're fine during my main phase. I like that play. I really do. So, 
I, I just don't think that I have the the arsenal to do it. I believe that even if I go into him, it's just things on the field. Yeah, it's just card effects on the field, so things there in the graveyard are still resolved, so I'm still gonna get fucked. I can go into him though. If I can go into him, two DGD monsters. Uh, I can go ahead and your DDD and your DDD and your DDD. So I could go ahead and summon him and then attack her and then take my take the forerunner. That'd be pretty good. But I need a fusion summon, not with slime and not with necro slime, but with my actual uh, spell card because I can banish from the graveyard. So yes, I would like to add one covenant card. Obviously, he has another thing to hop out the way of good wish for. But he doesn't have a full spell, so he's starting to pad out of resources already. So that's not bad. Not bad, so I'm gonna fuck him up real good when this happens. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate my uh dark contract on his maxi. So he doesn't have one. Alright. Well, I'm not gonna overextend too much then. So I want you in the graveyard. I guess it'll be the you two. This is probably as far as I'm gonna take it. There's no reason to overextend too much. So, uh, this card goes and attack, you can target one of the DVD or Dark card you control, or turn to your hand. If you do equip one face up monster your opponent controls, except that it's battling this card game, attack the combined, okay, whatever. So, I just gotta hope and pray that he didn't top deck into Dark Destroy, because if he did, then I'm, I can just go ahead and uh, end it now. I'm gonna go ahead and attack, I'm gonna go ahead and return Kepler to my hand, and take that forward. And then he'll just be like, nah, 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 I, I, I drew into, I drew into one of the ships, like, okay. Not the one I really care about, alright. And do I miss my equip target now? Yeah, I, well, I guess. Can I activate the effect? I can activate the effect once per turn, so that's annoying. That's annoying. Yeah, I can activate the effect once per turn. Wow, so he top decked into a ship to hop out of my way, mess up all my plays. Like, oh my god. Oh my god, I had him. I fucking had him. Like, I had this fucking shit. He has his lightsaber. His forerunner can't get over me. It's going to be... He's gonna go ahead and go into Wicked Witch. That's fine. Has his lightsaber. Not worried about that. Just, uh, so it literally just comes down to what he top decks. So he top decks Dr. Shore. I'm fucked. Top decks Dr. Destroyer. I am the fucked. I haven't even played my, uh... Gate. So I guess I'll go ahead and play that now, and um, don't plan on busting out fusion. So I guess I'll go ahead and get light Leonidas so I don't take all that damn damage. And I guess I'm good for right now. So it comes down to what he top decks. But anyway, went down to locals after a cool minute and decided to get rid of like a nice majority of my Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So I was like, I'm done. Got rid of the Klee deck, got rid of the expensive cards, and I made a nice little chunk of change. So. Uh, I'll probably just go ahead and get maybe a fun deck to play, and uh, just play with friends. Like, I just don't want to really do com competitive Yu-Gi-Oh like that. For the love of God, don't let him fucking top deck into anything that's <laughs> decent. Like, what is this card? Oh, he's actually going on the defensive. Actually going on the defensive. Not bad. All right, I can equip the lightsaber. That's along those lines. So. These two are gonna go off and be like, I'm gonna fuck him up, he's gonna take a butt ton of damage. And I'll be like, no, 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 not today. So how am I supposed to deal with Wicked Witch? That's the question, I gotta deal with Wicked Witch. He might have top decked into a ship, but mostly I should be worried about Wicked Witch's effect to, uh, block. Oh, I can always go ahead and fusion summon into my, uh, other, the one with the, the DD and DD DDD. Oh, he's just gonna hop out the way right now. Alright, you're just gonna go ahead and hop out the way right now. I thought you were going to actually sit on her. So what did you top deck into? Dr. Shore? Slip. Yeah, we might as well go ahead and summon him. Like, okay. Like, that, that did nothing. <laughs> you can have that not even when I'm mad at. Like, I could literally just get another one if I wanted to. If I wanted to. The question is, do I? I could, I could, I could summon another Ragnarok and take both of them. So that's not bad. <sighs> Excuse me. You're in there. Now I can just go ahead and possibly summon. Who else is in there? 
think I might get me another uh, slime. Bomb is banished. Give me a slime and then fuse the slime into uh, into another Oracle King. You're gonna go ahead and snatch him up, but I don't, I'm worried about him floating. I'm not sure if I can bust another one of this out though. Yeah, I could. I could. I could. So first, let me go ahead and search. I'll go ahead and search for slime. This card's in your hand. You can use some monsters from your. I check you monsters from your hand as you control, including this card. Okay. Okay. So I want you back. And hmm, what else do I want to do? Like I said, this play, this play is going to be interesting to say the least. Say the least. And I probably want to go ahead and normal summon you, because I want to bust out another one of him, but I'm just not sure if I can do it. Now, this is a question, can I do it? I can Foolish, not Foolish, Drop. What do you do in this card? No time for some activate one of the effects. You can target one of your DD monsters, or add one face up. That wouldn't be terrible. I do have some DD monsters in my radar I would like to add. Summon you back. I, I mean, really, going for the pierce damage seems like a really practical idea, especially since he only has one card in his hand. That seems not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, what's in here? Slime, you, 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 and you. Okay. So, I want to go ahead and bust out. I actually should have pushed. Wow, I ran out of time. Wow, I ran out of time. <laughs> so fucking bad, man. I hate this fucking timer. Like, wow, I hate this fucking timer so fucking much. Like, why is that even a thing? Like, I get it. It's sort of when people go AFK, but seriously. Like, how, how am I supposed to fucking play? This is fucking DD. This deck's really complicated. It takes a lot of turns and plays and stuff to do. And you just fucking just like, nah, end him. End him. Right now. Oh, and now he gets fucking Cosmic Town. I didn't even get a chance to set my fuck. Oh, MST wouldn't have done anything, but still. Just like, wow, alright. Alright, then. That's annoying. That's annoying. I'm gonna have to do much better next turn because that was that was just bad on my part. That was literally bad on my part. This is gonna get her back and end this turn. Like, all right. No, that's fine. All right. So I need to do better this time. I, I need to actually do what I was planning on doing. So, uh, do I have uh, I have Ragnarok? But I can always get another Ragnarok back. So I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, Oh, I can go into my sea monster, actually. Yeah, if I go ahead and search for Ragnarok with Ragnarok. I summon Ragnarok back with Ragnarok. Can I do that? I think you can. Eh, well fuck it, we'll find out. I, I don't have time to think, apparently. I don't have time to think, so. Go ahead and summon Ragnarok back. Ragnarok. Yep, you summon back Ragnarok. Awesome. Back Ragnarok. To you. So everything is negated on the field. Currently on the field, which is fine. So I can detach one extreme material. You can set one down dark contract. That's actually not bad, because I really don't want to wipe the, the back route. There's no point. I actually just want to detach and get Ragnarok back in there. So summon you back. Well, not summon you back, but get you back. Then I could go ahead and fuse. I'm gonna be fusing anyway though. Be fusing. Uh, Necro Slime with the Ragnarok. Uh, I want to go into you. Ragnarok. And get all this juicy purest damage in. Oh, my effects are still negated. Alright. Alright, it's just anything on the field for the remainder of the turn, huh? That's annoying. That's annoying. <laughs> That's annoying. God, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just fucking up. I'm just fucking up, aren't I? Just fucking the up. Fucking the up. So, his effects are still negated. Oh my god, how many times am I gonna fuck up and keep on forgetting shit? Like, seriously, how many times am I gonna forget? Like, I already hate this guy just because he does that to me. And then, of course, shit that resolves off the field will still go off, I'm assuming. I'm assuming. Uh, might as well just go ahead and do the best that I can. 
kill as much as the pilots and shit that I can. Like, I fucked myself. I thought that it was just things currently on the field, but no, it's just on the field, period. I negate it till the end of the turn, like, oh, fuck. I was like, alright, everything's negated, then I'm gonna go ahead and summon him, and then he'll give me the pierce damage and shit, but no, I fucked up. And then I, come, I said it, and then I fucked up again by summoning him, like... Kill you. So I know what you have in your hand, so. I haven't. Did he play Farm Girl in this duel? I don't think so. He got back Wicked Witch. He has Wicked Witch. I mean, Good Witch in his saber. Like, how could I fucking be so stupid to keep fucking Kepler like that? I'm so fucking dumb. If I lose this duel, I deserve to lose, because I'm a fucking idiot. I'm not gonna kill them, because I don't want I don't want Farm Girl to come. Alright, uh, he's just gonna surrender. Thank God, because. I'm fucking the up. I am fucking the up. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was terrible. That was terrible. Thank god he just quit. I was, I was like, I'm not gonna kill him, because I don't want him to summon Farm Girl. So he summons Farm Girl and, you know, equips a saber, attacks him, I take all that damage, and then he searches. No thank you, no thank you. That's all. I was just gonna leave the runner there. The worst he could have done was just tech Kepler for 28. I don't care. You know? Yeah, this is a good witch and the lightsaber in his hand, so he would have came down to what he tied back, so he just decided to surrender. God, I'm gonna fuck up. Huh, I, I I like this guy, but I, then I don't like this guy because he he I kind of fucked him up. I fucked him up bad. <laughs> just overthinking and not thinking enough, and it's just terrible. I'm terrible with DDs. Oh well. Anyway, I got rid of the nice majority of the Yu-Gi-Oh cards, so I don't have clues anymore. Oh well, that's not really important. Uh, I still have Town Knights, but I'm not sure what I'll do with them. Uh, it really depends on the offer that's being made by one of my friends. He's like, I want to pick up the Teller Knights, and it's just like. Mm -hmm. Because I could just keep it as a fun deck, you know. Because I was playing as a fun deck before, before I tried to make it a competitive deck. So I could probably just go back to that for fun. But now I'm kind of looking for a fun deck. And I kind of like Teller Knights. And, you know, with only one Rota. I mean, it's still a competitive deck, but I'm just not sure how competitive it will be. With, uh, <laughs> in the upcoming format, uh, for the, you know, just some notes. Just go into Trim and get noticed. And unless you have another Teller Knight monster on the field, you can't even Nova that notice. Because you have monster has to be on the field to uh, use uh, Nova. Happens all the time in solid morning, so I'm just not sure that that would be a competitive deck. But for fun, like I said, I really like the, the Telenet Equip card. I think it's really cool and fun, but of course, competitive Telenet, you don't play it. But if I'm playing for fun, I can play it, so it's a battle. It's a battle. Anyway, I apologize. I apologize, people. That was just appalling, appalling performance. I, I, I was in the right mindset. I was in the right mindset, and I just did everything wrong. Like... I was like, alright, everything on the field is negated, but I didn't really read the card. I just knew that when it has to fill, everything's negated, I'm like, whatever. But I thought that it was just currently on the field. It's just period. So, I was like, alright, I'm summon, using something to him, he's gonna give me all the pierce, and I'm gonna pierce everything, you know. I didn't even really mind that he was negated, even though it could have took an equip. I was like, oh, give me that pierce. And I was like, oh, shit, everything's negated. Then I completely slipped my mind. I was like, oh, well, I need to get out of this situation. You know, I was like, well, how am I gonna, you know, get out of this situation? I was like, well, if I can, I was like, maybe I can go into uh, Alexander. Cause, well, not Alexander, Siegfried, and maybe negate his Cosmo Town, because it seems like I can't wrap this duel, so I was like, alright, so I'm in Kepler, Kepler, search, uh, you know, and do all that place, but, fuck that up too. Ah, uh, I apologize, people. And apparently, you cannot set it, I mean, you can activate it, right? Dark Contract. You can charge next to your this card, and target one Dark Contract, but trap and then set that target. I'm assuming that you can't activate it during the turn you set it. Oh, I just can't activate it on the field. You can't activate cards on the field, period, because of him. Duh. Shit. I apologize. You know, you only got one more week of these, these unless it, you know, guys, you guys decide to keep it on daily duel. You only got one more week of me just being bad with these. I'm better, but I'm still bad. I, I will never call myself an expert. So, I'm sorry for the cringe-worthy performance. I apologize. So, uh, anyway. I hope that you guys enjoyed despite that. <laughs> I will, of course, uh, be back next uh, Wednesday with more DVDs and then go ahead and do the polls and see if they stay on for another month or get taken off. I'm not sure. I'll be back tomorrow using them Dynamist. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.